Now it probably shouldn't have to be said, but I'm guessing someone has done that. So no trespassing in the fountain. Caesar's Palace. One of the more beautiful, more expensive, more articulate resorts here in downtown Las Vegas. Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new Las Vegas video. Today's video is going to be focusing on Caesar's Palace. This resort I remember being here visiting a long time ago and from what I remember they had a pretty amazing statue show inside where the statues were static and then every so often they'd come to life, they'd start talking, moving, there'd be fire, there'd be water. And as far as I know, it's still in there. Don't know if it's operational, but if it's not, we're still gonna check it out. But inside though, is a, a big shopping area called like a, like a Caesars Mall. I know there's probably a better name for it, but that's what I know it as, Caesars Mall. And also outside too, there's fountains, there's beautiful architecture. And this resort, I want to feature for you guys. So if you wanna see what Caesars Palace Resort here has to offer in downtown Vegas, all you have to do is come along with me. Now, if you can't already tell, this is one of the larger resorts here on the Strip. They have multiple towers, and the whole property takes up a good portion of the block. But before we go inside, I want to show you the exterior features, starting off with this nice fountain area here with the statues. Now, it probably shouldn't have to be said, but I'm guessing someone has done that. So no trespassing in the fountain. The unfortunate thing though is it's, oh, what is that? All right, let's focus on the positive. Yes, there's garbage in there, but the fountain itself is pretty beautiful. Looks like it lights up at night. A lot of photo opportunities as well. And the big mystical, magical seahorse? Mer horse? What do you want to call that? Regardless though, it is a prominent feature here. Everyone driving on the strip here will indeed see this as the forefront of the resort. I'm gonna check online, see if there's an actual name for these, but it looks like a combination of a horse and mermaid or a type of seahorse. But if you guys know, feel free to comment down below. Water does look refreshing and right now it's about 85 degrees out. Humidity's not too bad, but it would feel nice to, to go in there. But unfortunately the sign does say no trespassing in the fountains. Take this walkway up here, it'll bring us up to the upper level where we can see the backside of the fountain. You guys know how I am with fountains. Some of the best content on YouTube. Now one thing people may be looking for when they're walking the strip is places to sit. Well, if you come up here, you got a nice area in the shade to give your feet a rest. And here we are, the upper portion behind the fountain now. We'll take a walk through the columns here. I feel like I'm stepping back in time with the Roman emperors. And as I promised, the best content here, the backside of a water fountain. No, it's just out of reach. Just coming from the fountain area. One cool surprise here is on the property is none other than Gordon Ramsay's Hell's Kitchen. Got the famous HK and the pitchfork there. So even the drive-in area where you would come to park for valet, they do have another nice fountain feature right there in the middle. But now we're gonna head inside the famous 
Caesar's Palace. And fingers crossed that the statue show will be operating. If not, we'll at least show you what the inside looks like because it is pretty amazing. But it's been a long time since I've been here, so I'm just as curious as some of you might be. Right inside the main entrance here are the statues. These are not the ones we're looking for though, but this is a nice feature here. And as you can tell, one of the common themes here and features with Caesar's Palace is water. They have all types of water features and other things that revolve around statues, water, artwork. And here's looking up at the ceiling here, which is beyond amazing. And the backdrop there behind the check-in desk. See some of the changes that they made for gambling with the plastic partitions for everyone's safety. There's Caesar. This way to win money. So I mistakenly call it the Caesar's Mall. It is officially called the Forum Shops. That's where we're trying to find right now. Security guards say just keep walking, you'll run right into it. Check this out for a restaurant. Holy crap. And it brings us right here to the forum shops inside Caesar's Palace. Even when you're sitting here trying to lose your money, you got some beautiful backdrops behind it. And even the entire ceiling and everything is done up. Now here's where you're going to find your selection of, of shops. This is the forum shops. Similar to a mall. They're everything from Coach to Valentino to Jimmy Choo. And a little Caesar shop too for some Caesars merchandise. But we're not here to shop, at least I'm not. I'm here to show you guys the incredible architecture and theming in here. It's unlike anywhere else. And this place, probably more than anything else, stood out to me when I was here for the family vacation when I was a little boy. Caesars is just amazingly beautiful. Now the best part about this area is ahead of me and is the colored, painted, beautiful blue sky canopy above you. It makes you feel like you're outdoors. And just to give you a peek as to what I'm talking about, right there, see that blue? Yeah, it's mind blowing how incredible it looks. What do you think, Lil? Interesting. Interesting. Burberry. Johnny Barbados. I don't know any of these. Tom Ford. I know Ford, but I don't know who Tom Ford is. There's Palm Restaurant. But enough of that. Let's continue straight ahead. I feel like I'm in Hollywood Boulevard and Pretty Woman. All these high-end shops. Here we are, outside, but still inside. And straight ahead is the centerpiece of the massive, beautiful, and very detailed statue area with flowing water, Fountain of the Gods. I don't know if it's operational, we'll find out. But if not, we'll just have to enjoy it as a piece the way it is. But I have seen videos and I've seen them in person many, many years ago. And it has some really amazing animatronics or special effects with water, with fire, with lighting. Actually, this may not be it. I might be wrong after all. Either they changed it or there's another one that I'm talking about, which I don't know where it is. Okay, we'll find out in a little bit. It's been a long time since I've been here. But since that was not the fountain we were looking for or the statue show, we're continuing down this way, which is getting just more beautiful and impressive than what we already saw. Atlantis show aquarium. Okay, so yes. It is straight ahead. Wow. It's hard to even focus on what to show you guys. There's stuff everywhere. 
Okay, so at least we know the show is up here, Atlanta show. What do you guys think? Think it'll be operational? If you want, pause the video, comment, and we'll see if you're right. Little balconies up there. Just above all the stores. And we're going straight ahead through this massive archway. And straight ahead is the Atlantis show. At least it's still here. That's a good sign. Oh, I see Cheesecake Factory. Oh, what do you know? It's not working. Inside of here resembles the, like the Coliseum. It's a massive open circular room. Obviously the centerpiece is the Atlantis show here with these statues which do come to life. These actually rise up out of these columns and there's fire and there's water and there's special effects. It's a really great show which used to operate probably every half hour but they don't even have any water in there right now. It's completely not working, just the lights. But they do have a little aquarium here, so we can check that out. Salvage something out of our journey here to see the statue show. Oh, look at that. It's a Pinocchio fish. Got a statue in there. All kinds of fish and even, what was that, stingrays. Pretty nice little aquarium, nice variety of fish here. There's actually a guy in here cleaning a tank, or a woman, sorry. A scuba diver. That's pretty neat. On the back side of the aquarium, there's a pretty massive little gift shop here, Sin City sign, but they have everything you could imagine for your souvenir, memorabilia items, including a place to grab a drink as well, snacks, candy, chocolate. So since we were disappointed by the lack of the operating fountain show, we decided to treat ourselves to a little treat. So on our way back towards where we started, we found a little gelato shop and we got some frozen treats. This is birthday cake and you got... Peanut butter and Oreo. Peanut butter and Oreo. What do you think so far? Pretty good. That doesn't sound that promising. No, it actually... For an ice cream connoisseur, eh, pretty good. For 11 bucks, it better be damn good. But look, we only have the first taste here. It is whipped cream and a little cookie, too. Let me try. So I got a little bit of birthday cake and whipped cream. It's good. Not the best I've ever had, but there's good flavor to it. And the thing I like, it's not super frozen hard. It's nice and soft, but still cold like ice cream. I don't know if I would pay 11 bucks again, but when in Rome or Caesar's Palace, why not? So we're going to finish our treats. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys weren't disappointed with the lack of what we were able to show you as a prominent feature of making our way back here to show you that fountain show. But if it does start working in the future, hopefully somebody will be able to document it and share it on YouTube. I have a strong memory of it from the past. I know it's been updated over the years. And unfortunately, coming here during a pandemic, it's just the way it goes. But otherwise, the property itself is very beautiful. A lot to see outside, inside. A lot of shops here too, but a little bit out of our price range. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Got a headless statue. That's not good. I guess it's intentional. It says victory at Samoth Race. Goddess of victory, sculptor unknown about something museum, Paris, France.
Yeah, remember that sign that we saw earlier? You no know, trespassing in the fountains? It's for reasons like that. Unreal. The things you see in Vegas. For those of you who stuck around this long, here's some bonus footage back at Caesars now at nighttime. And I'm going to show you just a few of the sites that we saw already and a couple of new ones I discovered on my travels past the big resort. I have to say it looks a bit better at nighttime. Everything's nicely illuminated. Looks like they gave the pool cleaning since last time. And there's your Vegas traffic. Yeah, it was over there. All right, so now that we saw this, let's uh, head towards the opposite end of the property. There are some more statues and fountains that I didn't miss last time. And hopefully there's no one in the fountain this time trying to collect quarters like we saw in the last earlier part of this segment. Down here below the Caesars Palace sign. I missed this last time. There's a little statue up here and kind of a photo opportunity. It looks like it was a fountain that is not currently working. And oh, lock your eyes, kids. That is full frontal nudity. Here's a better view. Uh, yeah, <laughs> didn't know it was a fully fledged statue there. Uh, there is um, entrances here. I don't know what this is. It's a little dome miniature coliseum thing. But yeah, this is a former fountain, which is pretty much bone dry. Didn't miss that last time, but we're going to continue down further down the property towards the forum shops because there actually is, I witnessed it, working fountains and more statues. As promised, we're on the other side of Caesar's Palace now, the sign. And here is the forum shops, which we did see the inside as where the fountain show and aquarium is, which is currently not working, the fountain show itself. But outside here is a massive display here with statues, water feature, and even ducks in a pond here in the fountain. Got no food for your duckies, but you got a nice little pool here. Now, daytime does offer a better view here, but you can obviously see that there is water. You can hear it. And the statue set here is pretty neat. And there's little ones up there into the wall, the big centerpiece here. And on the sides, there's like these Roman gods or Greek gods that are wrestling the horses. I don't know much about the architecture or theming. I just could certainly appreciate it though. But it's a beautiful little scene here. And I did state that Caesar's Palace Resort does certainly focus on statues and water features throughout the whole resort. Inside, outside, they go all out. And that is pretty cool for me.